<laughs> What's the matter? My head hurts. I'll get a doctor. <laughs> Laurel and Hardy probably have been the most important double act to, to comedy ever. You only need to see the amount of people who are fans of theirs across the globe. All, you know, you name it, all the big comedians that always sort of reference Laurel and Hardy. Do we really need that trunk? A lot of young people don't know who Laurel and Hardy are, but if you show them a picture of Laurel and Hardy, they go, oh, it's those guys in, in the bowler hats. It's almost like their trademark, that shape of their bodies and their hats is something that is just burned in everyone's consciousness. Good afternoon, folks. Hello. Oh, ma'am, if you're buying tickets, tell them you're friends of ours. He'll charge you extra. Two seats, front row. Laurel and Hardy had this sense about them when you watch their work that they loved human beings. They had compassion for the human condition. The jokes were always on them because they were foolish. You know, they'd poke fun at the kind of social norms of the time, but ultimately, this seems to be the message of their work is like, aren't human beings ridiculous and aren't they beautiful? Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy were best friends. They were both very different people and they had different interests outside of work, so they weren't all that social when they were working together on the films. Stan was a workaholic. Ollie was a guy who didn't want to be around a set unless he was working, who would golf, who would go and, you know, bet on the horses. The fact that they were such different people also, I think, surprises people. But they loved each other. They really loved each other. You can't have Hardy without Laurel. It was Stan Laurel did a lot of the writing and sort of shadow directing. They would have a director every time, but Stan would kind of uh, set things up and then the director would sort of execute them. So we're on a wide two shot here, Stan, just like you wanted. And Oliver's job was just to, he was a, a sounding board for a lot of the material. Stan would present ideas and Oliver would go, mmm, that's funny. I think I'd rather poke you in the eye. He'd make suggestions and then Stan would put that into writing. My room in 10 minutes? Your room in 10 minutes? Yeah, I've got to run those lines. Really? Lauren Hardy's significance in comedy is huge because they're still with us a hundred years later almost. Good comedy crosses the barriers of time. You know, that so, what something that made someone laugh a hundred years ago still makes people laugh now. And there's something really wonderful about that. The comedy they did will never die. It's, it will be there perpetually. Oh, in the morning.